The story of Richard is interesting. Uh, Richard once called me. My staff said that there is a very nice guy on the phone. He really wants to talk to you about his case. His case is very unique. I was very curious, so I picked up the phone immediately off the bat. I could tell that his voice was clearly hoarse and he did his research and he knew that we were the pioneers of radio frequency and it was a very compelling story he gave me he actually captured our emotions at that moment and I uh, asked him to come in. He knew that thyroid radio frequency is not a curative program for him but he was trying to buy time because it was so large it was so compressive and he seeked surgical consultation and they all said that the chance of uh, morbidity and possible mortality associated with surgery is quite high and the patient decided at that moment radio frequency could be an option for him. I said, Richard, do you understand that this is far above and beyond any case? And I don't think the radio frequency was designed for this protocol. I felt very compelled to help the man because he was having many compressive symptoms, his voice was hoarse, and then we decided that, uh, you know what, we should give this guy a try, knowing the limitations of what medical therapy can be offered for him. The thyroid RFA procedure was not painful at all. I was very pleasantly surprised that I didn't feel pain. I could feel some popping, you know, I think, which is a good sign. The doctor said that meant the electrodes were working. I think I was there for about an hour and a half. I'm very pleased with the RFA procedure, and I would highly recommend this procedure to anyone that has thyroid nodules. I've been fighting them for eight years, had a lot of tests, acupuncture, no one could help me until now. Initially he gave me the treatment here, which uh, helped my breathing, helped my speaking, helped my swallowing. I was getting to a point where I could barely swallow, and now we've done the other side, and I think that's gonna even help me more. So I'm gonna continue the process till we're done and using uh, Dr. Nick Aran's healing hands and experience and his team. I'm looking forward to my next procedure and uh, will eventually eliminate my thyroid nodules. I've been dealing with this for eight years and now I'm finally getting a resolution. I'm very thankful for him entrusting us to do the procedure for him. Again, he knows it's not curative. He most likely requires several treatment plans but if he felt so great with the first treatment about several months ago, I am certain he'll feel much better with this treatment. We knew the nodule was so large on the trans dimension, you can't even capture on the ultrasound on two windows. So we did a trial because I wanted to make sure that there was no excessive hypertrophy after the radio frequency. And he got about a 35% reduction on his right lobe. And so then we offered reevaluation, and he was very persistent. And we decided at that point, maybe it's time to do the left side on him too. And today we did the left side on him. We spent about a good hour and a half on his left side. It was a quite large thyroid nodule and actually a goiter in that aspect of it too. He did very well during the procedure. I was very concerned regarding his tracheal narrowing and et cetera, but we were very careful. We divided the thyroid in several lobes and we decided to go by one thirds and go from higher to go lower. So to make the procedure extremely safe and he did excellent on the procedure. He was, his SATs were being monitored, his vitals were being consistently monitored with the cardiac monitors and I think he did wonderful. I really owe it to the team and everyone else that it was a group effort. It was a difficult but challenging case. When we did the second case on Richard, we decided that his case would be a pro bono case because I really wanted to help him. I got my team to agree and the company to agree that we could offer everything for him and we did the case for him at no charge. And the reason so is that we believe in the thyroid radio frequency as such an amazing pioneer technique that should be offered to patients. We encourage patients to reach out to their doctors about this amazing technique because it's really a life-changing technique. There's no scar, no surgery, no downtime and the complication rates are extremely low if done by the right hand. And we've been doing ultrasound guided thyroid biopsies and techniques since 2000. And you know, we've done over 50,000 of these techniques. So we're extremely confident and comfortable regarding the anatomy of the neck, the thyroid structure, the ultrasound, and everything that goes with it. And we have done, at this point, 100 of these thyroid radio frequency cases, which has been amazing. And the response has been unbelievable. Anyone that is considering it or on the fence, they won't be disappointed. It's much better than surgery. It's not invasive, and it can help you out for your, for your quality of life. I can't say enough positive things, and I am very much grateful to all of you. I 
truly mean that and we'll always appreciate it.